Would you be comfortable sharing with us the name of the hotel you stayed in last night? Uh, no. If you've messaged anybody this week, would you share with us the names of the people you've messaged? Uh, Senator, no, I would... Your right to privacy. But it's clear now that we didn't do enough to prevent these tools from being used for harm as well. And that goes for fake news, for foreign interference in elections and hate speech, as well as developers and data privacy. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. And it was my mistake, and I'm sorry. I started Facebook, I run it, and I'm responsible for what happens here. There will always be a version of Facebook that is free. It is our mission to try to help connect everyone around the world and to bring the world closer together. In order to do that, we believe that we need to offer a service that everyone can afford, and we're committed to doing that. You know, there are people in Russia whose job it is is to try to exploit our systems and other internet systems and other systems as well. So this is an arms race. I mean, they're gonna keep on getting better at this, and we need to invest in keeping on getting better at this too. You don't what think do. you have a monopoly? Uh, it certainly doesn't feel like that to me. Would you be comfortable sharing with us the name of the hotel you stayed in last night? Um. <laughs> uh, no. If you've messaged anybody this week, would you share with us the names of the people you've messaged? Uh, Senator, no, I would probably not choose to do that publicly here. I think that might be what this is all about. Your right to privacy, the limits of your right to privacy, and how much you give away.